We're here in Caterpillar's next gen medium wheel loader. Today we're going to talk about implement kickouts. We're going to go over both how to enable and disable your implement kickouts as well as how to set them in each position that you'd like them to be in. Using the soft keys on my B post, I can enable or disable each implement kickout, whether it be my rack or my main boom kickout. If I want to set my boom lower kickout, my boom is lowered into the position that I'd like it to be in about eight inches off the ground. I simply press and hold my boom kickout key for three seconds. It's going to automatically store that position. As long as I'm above my lower kickout position and I give a detent command on my main boom function, it will return to that position every single time. If I want to set my boom raise kickout height, I'm loading consistent trucks during the day. I like to have my main boom stop at a position every time I raise my boom into that position. I hold the same soft key for three seconds. It stores my raise position. As long as I'm below that position, I give a detent command on my boom in the raise. It's going to stop at that same height consistently every single time. Similar to my return to dig position or my bucket angle, I can store the same position. I have the bucket in the position that I want to dig in every single time. I simply press and hold. It stores that angle. Now whether I'm below that angle, I just dumped into my truck and I want to return to dig. I simply give a rack command into the detent position. It returns to that angle. If I'm above that position, say I'm tramming across the job, I have my bucket fully racked, I'm ready to come into the pile and get a bucket, I simply give a detent in the dump command, it will also return to that same angle. It will not store multiple angles simultaneously, only the one angle that I have set. Another key thing about the next gen medium wheel loaders is I have the ability to turn on and off each detent that I so choose. If I go into my machine menu, I go into the assist tab, I go to my implement kickouts, I can turn each one of them on and off individually. If I do not want my raise kickout to be enabled, but I still want my lower kickout to be enabled, I simply touch the raise. Now you'll notice if I give a detent command, it does not return to that height that I have set. If I turn that raise back on, I give a detent command, it will return to that height that I have set. I can do that for each individual one. Keep in mind, I still turn them on and off on my soft keys on the B post. If I turn both kickouts on and off using the soft key, neither one of them will work. I turn them back on, I can turn them on and off individually in my implement kickout screen in the assist tab. Implement kickouts are great for consistency and also reducing wear on the machine. So it's great for everyone to be aware of how to turn them on and off using the soft key on the B pillar.